do you have? I and the Jarl do. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. Uh, this one is assigned to you by Folk Firebeard. If you go to the Blue Palace and you dip in on a conversation, they're having a problem with this Wolf Skull Cave. And it's a very short location. Uh, it's filled with cultists and uh, Draugr. And it's pretty basic, pretty easy, uh, depending on your level. So let's get on with this adventure. Before you can do anything, you have to dip in on a conversation. So let's get on and listen. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldis I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Now you can approach Falk about Wolf Skull Cave. Do you have I am the Jarl's You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals. Or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Once you clear out Wolf Skull Cave, it opens up a potential for some side missions, which I will do in another video. Wolf Skull Cave is not too far outside of uh, Solitude, and it's right here. And I already explored, so I'm just going to fast travel and go to Wolf Skull Cave, where on the exterior here, you end up encountering a few uh, skeletons, which are easy to defeat. And once you get into the greater Wolf Skull Cave, I'll walk you through some things here. That guy is dead. Now let's get into the main cave here. And I always go first person and with a bow. You're not going to encounter anything until you get a little deeper into the cave. Then you see the trips, traps, and alarms here. And there is a draugr. But, ah, pickaxe. We can enchant that. And you might do some mining later on. But you want to come back here and around behind so that you avoid the alarms that are hanging there. And you come around and you've just avoided some potential alarms. This one's easy. Stick near the wall. And you come down this passage to another pickaxe. Uh, pick them up. You can enchant them. I did a video about that. How enchanted pickaxes can make you a lot of money. And this is where you will encounter the Draugr. And if you can get a good shot off, he dies very quickly. Now you want to come up this path right here. And you want to come through this passage here. And you will come out and you'll see 
some necromancers sitting by a fire. You can snipe them, and that will make your life easier. With them dead, there's sometimes a necromancer who will come out of this door. I fired an arrow at it. I didn't get any response, so all is good. I'm going to fast forward to the next major encounter here. Oh, you can kind of jump off the ledge if you want, but I'm going to walk through the passage if I can find it. Of course, you always want to loot the corpses, and eh, necromancer robes, uh, they can be sold. They're not heavy, so let's see. There is a coin purse here, and uh, robes of minor destruction. Not bad. Now the door. If you open the door, you might get attacked by some necromancers or a draugr, so open it carefully, and then sneak down the passage here. This is why I always give advice, put electrical damage on your weapons because you always encounter these magic wielding uh, people, whether they are wizards or even draugr, and the electricity does damage to their magic. to get further into the cave you have to jump down onto these ledges and work your way down to the bottom and you can go further into wolf skull cave now if you go through this passage i'm going to sneak through this passage here and if you go through it and you come down here, you get into Wolf Skull Runes. And this is where things get a little interesting. You see that magic swirling? You come out here and you can see something interesting going on. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Pathema. We summon Pathema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Pathema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. We, we summon, summon Pathema. Pathema the Wolf Queen. Yeah, they are summoning her. You can use this area to try and snipe some other Draugr and cultists. It can be hit or miss. In this case, it's mostly miss if you are trying to get someone at a distance. They seem to be able to dodge your arrow. Yeah, he just walked away and the arrow flew by and now he knows someone is shooting at him. Yeah, this is going to be pointless. If you see hanging pots, shoot them because they ignite fire traps, and you can damage or kill opponents, like this guy. He is 
injured, and one more shot, and he's down. Yep, shoot those pots because they ignite fire traps. Looks like I'm going to have to fight these two with swords. So let's get on. Ooh, Draugr Death Lord. Shout, knock him down, and beat him up. Now you get into this tower. And you're going to encounter a Draugr up here. And you could potentially encounter other Draugrs. So you have to be kind of sneaky about things. Like I said, potentially other Draugr, and yep, uh, take him down, and let's see if I can snipe anyone else here. No one's coming, so I'm going to have to move my way up toward the cultists. Yes! Yes! Return me to this realm! As our voices summon you, the blood of the innocent binds you, Wolf Queen. Summon... And with words, thou bound by blood. What? What are you doing, you fools? You cannot bind me to your will. Summon with words, thou bound by blood. You ants don't have the power to bind me. But Tema sounds a little pissed. Like, uh, yeah, they're going to try and bind her. Anyway, now that I've looted these cultists and their Draugr, I'm going to move on forward. And yeah, they're attacking me with ice magic. Gosh, yep. Gonna have to fight my way through these people. Now they know you're coming, and I can tell you right now, the other cultists are pretty easy to take down, so I'm going to keep moving on here. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Other cultists were relatively easy to take down. 
And after we loot the bodies, uh, we got to go back and tell folk that we broke up a cult that was trying to resurrect Potema, who is a really, really bad, um, how shall I say, person. And just flip through this book. Doesn't really raise anything. And let's see, there's a switch over here somewhere that I can flip to drop this bridge here. And yeah, here we are. And activate the lever, the bridge drops. You have your master chest that you can loot. And I'm going to fast forward to the meeting with Falk. You've returned? Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Potema herself? Please tell me you stopped them. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Be quick. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Sybil is actually a great person to sell stuff to, and you can buy some soul gems from. And if you haven't noticed, she is a practitioner of destruction ma magic, as well as a, how shall I say, vampire. So you sell the stuff to her that you can, and you can get money, and again, you can buy soul gems from her. Now, she gave you the mission to kill the um, vampires in Pine Moon Cave. I will be doing a video about that in the future. But you also want to talk to the Queen. Watch over your banner, friend. There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. I have so very many ways to deal with people. I said queen, I meant Jarl. This sets you up to be able to become a thane and buy a house. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I do four videos a week on video games. You can hit the subscribe button and bell icon. If you like this video, hit the like button. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and Thanks for stopping by.